Oh, God. Marvel has announced that they're doing a Civil War 2. Now, they actually announced... Well, there were hints at this, like, back in October because this guy got this flyer from Marvel that advertised a Civil War 2 and the image that you're looking at on your screen right now, yeah, that image was on the card and on the back side it said Civil War 2. So that pretty much was very much what confirmed. I mean, it didn't officially confirm, but that was all, what almost completely confirmed that this was happening. But now, two months later, Marvel has officially come out and said that they are doing... Civil War 2. Uh, not the movie Civil War, which will hopefully be better, but the they're doing a sequel to the comic book. Now, a lot of people hate the comic book, and I think it is one of the best comic books of all time. I mean, it's, I mean, it was really marvelous in my opinion. Um, it showed how society, it showed how superheroes, uh, would react in a post-9-11 society, um, with more, na with increased national security, uh, everywhere, um, and I, I remember I reread Civil War right after the Sandy Hook shootings, and it just felt even more surreal, um, and ironically, the, uh, the tragedy at the beginning of the Civil War story actually happens in Connecticut, I believe. Um, but it's really an eccentric story. Um, and, uh, I just love it. I mean, there's so much to praise about it. Um, the, oh, the scene where Daredevil gets taken into the negative zone and he says to Tony, and he calls Tony Judas, that was, that was brilliant writing. That was writing at its finest. Um, but yeah, this was definitely, in my opinion, Mar Mark Millar has not always been the best writer. He's written, he wrote a story, he wrote a comic book called Trouble, which, um, it kind of suggested, obviously it wasn't canon, kind of, it was kind of like the half-human, the Doctor is half-human type of thing, where they suggested that Aunt May might actually be Peter's mother. Yeah. It was non-canon, but still. Um, but, anyways, so, Marvel, after almost 10 years, I think by the time they re release it, it will be officially the 10th anniversary of Civil War, the comic book, has decided to make a Civil War 2, and they're getting Brian Michael Bendez to write it. And, oh, are, are you looking forward to seeing uh, Steve and Tony face off against each other again? Well, guess what? They're not. It's going to be Sam Wilson, Captain America, versus Tony Stark. Okay, let me get into the problems with this. First of all, Civil War, I never really thought Civil War needed a sequel. There are some things that just aren't meant for a sequel, um, A Christmas Story never should have gotten a sequel, and yes, A Christmas Story did get a sequel, and it was absolutely awful. I think cr almost every critic who's seen it can agree with me on that. Um, another thing, it would be like if I made a sequel to the show M.A.S.H. You know, you just can't do it. Um, but unlike what Shia LaBeouf might tell you, but the second problem is Brian Michael Bendez is writing this. Um, first of all, if you're going to make, if you just have to make a sequel to Civil War after all this time, I, I don't see why they wouldn't have just made this eight years ago, but if you just have to, if you just can't help but make a Civil War 2, at least bring Mark Millar back. It was his story. He wrote the story. Let him continue the story. <sighs> That's the second problem. The third problem. They have been advertising 
I, well, they said in the description that this was going to be a big cataclysmic event. They said something like that, but they, they basically said in the description of Civil War 2 that this was going to be a big game changer of a story. And Brian Michael Bendez is writing it. Now, no disrespect to Brian Michael Bendez. He's written some phenomenal comics. He created the Ultimate Universe. He did Ultimate Spider-Man. He created the entire Ultimate Universe. Um, he created Miles Morales. Um, he not only wrote Jessica Jones, but he freaking created Jessica Jones. Yeah, you know that Netflix show that's on right now about that, uh, that Jessica Jones? Yeah, Brian Michael Bendez created her. Yep. And he also wrote one of the best runs on Daredevil ever. You know, a lot of the writers right now will make Daredevil really campy, like Mark Wade. Um, but, but Brian Michael Bendez came back in and he said, nope. I'm going to turn that around. I'm going to bring us back to the Miller years, to back to the Frank Miller years, and make Daredevil dark again. N now, that sounds great, right? Great. You know, Brian M Michael Bendez wrote all these great comics. Now he's doing Civil War II. Yeah, here's the problem with it. It's They say they want it to be this whole big game changer of a story. Here's the thing, though. Here's my opinion on Brian Michael Bendez. He does a better job with street-level heroes. Jessica Jones, Spider-Man, and Daredevil were all street-level heroes. There have been times <laughs> when Brian Michael Bendez has tried to do, um, you know, big, uh, big ginormous stories, and they're just boring and generic and cliched. Uh, I'll give you an example. I think the best example is Cataclysm, which was a story he wrote, supposed to be this huge game changer, advertised as a ginormous, uh, change to the Ultimate Universe. Many loyal fans were worried that Miles Morales was going to die in that. Uh, guess what? Nothing really much happened. Uh, it had a stupid resolution. It was the normal, oh, it's an apocalypse type of, uh, you know, uh, story. It was the, it was basically the normal, cliched, bad guy tries to take over the world type of story. And that's usually what his stories turn out to be. Um, and if you look at Age of Ultron, he wrote a book called Age of Ultron, um, if you're wondering, oh, is this what the, the new Avengers Age of Ultron is based off of? Uh, absolutely not. And I can't help but think that the only reason he wrote the damn book was because uh, they needed a title for Avengers 2. Because he the comic was actually published only a like two months before they announced Avengers 2 would be called... Avengers Age of Ultron, and the book itself, the story itself, was cliched and just bad. Um, so when Brian Michael Bendez tries to do big cataclysmic events, they just turn out kind of boring. Um, but I, I think what my biggest pro- well, another problem, let me get into my next problem. Uh, Tony and Sam Wilson are fighting. If you're going to make a, a Civil War sequel, it needs... It, if you're ever going to do a Marvel Civil War, it needs to be between Steve and Tony. They are what makes the comic book. I mean, their their relationship, their love-hate relationship is electric. Uh, you know, they, they represent the opposite size. They are polar opposites of each other. Uh, you know, Steve Rogers is the man of the past. He is the man who believes that tradition is what needs to stay. Nothing messes with tradition. Tradition is just is just the definitive way of life. And Tony is the guy who thinks, no, we need to change things. We need to elevate society into a new age. They stand for the polar, the exact same opposite things. Uh, you know, Cap takes the traditional stance. And, uh, Tony takes the modern-day hipster techno stance. It's beautiful. I mean, they have totally different views. 
they they are the complete opposites of each other aside from being superheroes and it goes to show that just because uh, two superheroes are superheroes does not mean they are the same by any means of the imagination. It does not mean, even though they're both superheroes, it does not mean they both have the same stance. To have Steve and Tony is just, it is essential to the comic. But they're not doing that. No, no, no. Instead, we're just getting Sam Wilson. Sam Wilson, who's just from the present day, I guess. So, I mean, if... Tony pretty much just got into a bar fight with Wolverine. I think that would be more interesting than seeing him... I think I'd be more interested in seeing him uh, go up in a bar fight against uh, Wolverine than see him, you know, fight uh, Sam Wilson. Uh, And finally, what I really hate the most is... Here's the thing. If you... Civil War was just so, such an important story. Whether you like it or not, uh, you got to admit, it was extremely important. There's no denying that. And if you make a ton of Civil Wars, if you just make a whole series out of uh, Civil War stories, nobody's going to care anymore. The Civil War is going to be irrelevant. It's just going to be the next time, like, whenever Civil War Three comes out, uh, the fans are just going to hesitate and say, oh, yeah, there, there's another Civil War, which it shouldn't be like, because Civil War was just such an important and essential story. It, it was what saved Marvel. Again, you can hate Civil War all you want, but it saved Marvel uh, from a financial crisis. Um, and, but what I really hate is, it's just become a marketing campaign now. It's just... They're saying, oh, well, the new movie's coming out. I guess we'll make a new story for the movie. And this really pisses me about Marvel. Uh, You know, they just say, we can do anything we want. Because, oh, the movies are doing it. And we can just take any inspiration from the movie. So I'm not happy for this. I will not be picking up this comic if If I want to find out anything about this comic book, I'm going to read the synopsis online. I am furious about this idea. But anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on them making a Civil War 2. And, uh, I'm out.